Hearing that Funimation was, was interested in looking at the Dragon Age property for an animated feature was one of the best days of my time with Dragon Age. When we heard about that, uh, basically my jaw hit the floor. Being in the industry as long as I have, it's something that you always dream about doing. And to know that this is actually coming out and this is actually a real product is just really exciting. With our fans, they're really interested in Dragon Age as the world. That's really what, what Dragon Age is about. It's really the story of the world. In the, in the Dragon Age universe, we have been pursuing a storyline. So when the question came up, you know, who should this movie be about, and the answer became Cassandra, it's because it ties in with the themes that we've been building to. Every time we tell a story, it's about broadening that appeal, giving more depth to the world, and giving our fans the ability to dig a little bit deeper. So for us, finding out her backstory, seeing how she rose to the prominence that she has, gives us this completely new take on what's happening both with her order and with the Templars and with that ongoing conflict that ties the whole Dragon Age universe together. So I really hope the fans enjoy this ability to see a little bit deeper into both the, the Seeker organization and the origins of Cassandra as a character. Deep down, I want them to understand that, 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 you know, oh, this is an authentic Dragon Age property. It adds to the world, it expands the lore, uh, it builds on things we've hinted at, and maybe even answers some questions. And that's really exciting. And exciting on an intellectual level, but on a more emotional level, what I really want fans to do is to walk away going, oh my god, that is awesome.